Okay, most pathetic ascension ever. But oh my goodness! This place! Floating islands. More water to get up. Clever zombie. Wow. This is... Why are there so many zombies? Is there a spawner there or something? That would be just fantastic. If there was a spawner in there. I doubt it. Because the zombies do spawn in groups. I do know that. Even so, I'm, I'm going to try and be as non-disruptive as possible. I'm going to try... That looks really different from through the water. So try and leave as little trace as possible because it usually leaves things looking awesome, looking less good and I never get round to cleaning it up. One thing this place definitely needs is lots of staircases to get up. So at the moment it's not impossible. A creeper here to blow you off the edge would be terrible. More zombies. So, yeah, minus 2,000 plus 1,500. Oh, and we've got a forest biome off the back of it, which appears to not be snowy, so we've got a bit of everything. How high does this go? How high are we currently? We're already at Y160. So this thing must go up right up to the height of it. This is what I was hoping for with Amplified Terrain. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, back. But now it's night time, which is significantly less good for us exploring. Look at the size of this thing. My goodness. Jump boost beacon would be pretty useful here. So that much, that's not a good way to go, is it? There's a creeper. In retrospect, I probably didn't bring enough cobblestone with me. How high are we? Yeah. 216. And there's dirt at level 223. That's a new experience for me. And it goes higher still. This thing's going to take forever and a day to light up. Okay, well, very, very, very tall mountain. Ah, 248. 249. So this is about as high as it gets. So let's just survey the general region, shall we? Ah, uh, not a great place to be having these battles. Because, wow! Look at the Endermen. This place is fantastic. So there's the space on top so you could flatten this out. Oh, lots and lots of bad guys. On this side it goes all the way down into the sea. So you could definitely have a water drop to a boat station down there. Wow. Don't look at the Endermen. And then, then there's this awesome valley, so you can have a bridge across there. And 
a suspension bridge maybe with a mine cart and tower over there and farms down in the f this is our base this is our continent and this this is not zombies continent this is Bonko's continent <coughs> Right. So, coordinates. Minus 1922, 1486. And then just to point out some more things, look down there. Whoa! That's it. You're going off the mountain. You have dis. Here's your ruler. Okay. That was pretty good. That wasn't bad. So, let's light this up in the name of Wonko. But also light it up on sides that are visible from the seafront. So we can identify what mountain this is from a long way away. This looks to be the highest point of my continent, except perhaps over there. 251, that's about as close as it gets. I am excited for this. This is absolutely 100% amazing. On. Let's load it up full size. This will take a while to load, but no matter. This is... I don't know. I don't know what this place is called. Yeah, take that, zombie. You are evicted from this place. What are we going to call this place? Um... Something that has either a subtle reference or a historical place with a lot of metaphor. I don't know. Next episode, we'll have a name for this thing. Next episode. Okay. Well, I guess all that we should probably start, maybe, by going back, getting some obsidian and building another portal over here. And then build a tunnel between the bases, and then start setting up our infrastructure, because the problem, you know, with starting houses, is when you build a house, you know, or a base, it tends to grow, so it starts from a center point and grows organically. Now, on a really cool base, you want a really fantastic center point. Something that links up everything, looks amazing, sets the theme for the base, and is just generally all around all purpose. However, it is significantly harder to do that with your starting out base because you don't have tools or advanced blocks or good aesthetics or all of that stuff. So it ends up looking really bad, and even though you branch out from it, it never gets all that advanced, or all that impressive as a structure. So this, this is going to be ours. Let's look over there, let's look at that forest biome. Just see what we have surrounding us. Because it looks like we've got these two big mountains and then the rest of the area is relatively flat and I really really like that because it means we can turn these two mountains into a massive base just throw down torches everywhere but yeah I mean that's not exactly flat but it's a whole lot lower than this mountain that's like that's similar to the size of spawn I'd say Whatever that is there, that's probably just the void showing through. 
So yeah, let's go home and get started on that. Geronimo. Whoa! Oh, that is... Oh, we got so far underwater there. Look at that thing! We can turn that into something amazing. We can have windows and parapets all the way up the side. And that thing! That's a lighthouse. I've called that as a lighthouse. This this can be something. We can have an entrance right there where we set, you sail in with your boat and you get to a central boat parking point. Yeah, that's us. This is us. So, minus 2000, positive 1500. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our new base. So, we are going to move forward. First step, nether portal. Second step, the world. And I'll see you all next time.